I think it's lovely. I think it's very, I think it's very light for a double. and I've often wondered about myself. Uh, my brother was 18 months older than I, and she wanted him to be an athlete, and he was. And she thought I should be a lady, and she didn't encourage me at all. Why? It's, it's a beautiful world. The water's there. Why not be a swimmer? Why not be a runner? Why not play soccer? Why not play basketball? I mean, why? In the name of heaven, do you sit back and not do it just because you're a female? I had spent some time in jail, and uh, I'd just gotten out of prison, actually, at that point. So uh, I was having a lot of issues. Um, getting back into the swing of things with regular society, so to speak. And a friend of mine was trying to encourage me to uh, straighten my life out. And uh, she thought that rowing would be a good idea, a good sport for me. Rowing gave me a great deal of self-esteem. To be accepted by a group of women that were really well established and to take me an ex-con and uh, let me row with them and just accept me for who I was and just uh, to take me on face value uh, and just to teach me because they already knew how to row. I didn't know how to row. So they had to like be patient with me. So it did, it did a tremendous amount for my self-esteem. Uh, after my husband competed in the 1928 Olympics, he became coach of the several crews. And I used to sit on the back porch and wait for him. And I used to say to him, why don't women row? And he said, women don't row. I said, why don't they? And the answer was, they just don't. So anyway, this one day I'm sitting there and I saw this girl take a single out from Fairmount. And on the way home, I said to my husband, you told me girls don't row. He said, they don't. But because I saw one girl row, I thought if one girl can row, others can row. And of course, I pushed my husband <laughs> and everybody else. I had this idea of mine of women rowing. Meantime, I spoke to one of the gals, and she said that she would speak to some of the girls to see if they were interested. And they said yes. And they all agreed they wanted to row. And the name that was chosen was a Philadelphia Girls Rowing Club. And we had our first meeting. I was elected president. I think there were about 12 of us, the original. And that's the start of it. I'd never been a team player. I'd always been uh, kind of an antisocial individual. And uh, I never had to work with a team, be with a team. I never really had a family orientation. I could have gone either way. It could have been like back to jail and prison or get my life back on the right track. And, just, uh, and that's what it's done. And it's just like been leaps and bounds ever since then. It just was like the catalyst that just took me to any, any height. I mean, the sky's the limit for me. I'm 
working on my master's degree in social work right now. So it also gave me the, the structure and the discipline to do that, but also gave me the self-esteem. I think that was my biggest issue, because I had really poor self-esteem before I started rowing, and it's just, uh, just the camaraderie of the sport and the acceptance from my team members uh, just boosted my self-esteem a tremendous amount. Stowe was a gold medal Olympian. I was walking up the drive as he was walking down, and he stopped me, and he stood against me. He couldn't have gotten any closer if he tried. And he looked down at me, and he said, Ernie, women shouldn't be rowing, and you shouldn't be rowing. And I said, that's what you think, Bill. And I walked on, and I was really frightened, but I've never forgotten it. You shouldn't be rowing. <laughs> I knew when I was 16 years old, someone had taken me and taken me to the side and just really put me into something, given me some of their time, and put me into something like rowing that would have given me the structure that I don't think I would have ever wound up in jail. I wouldn't have done the things that put me there to put me in prison to begin with. That's all I needed was just some discipline and someone to show, hey, this we care about you and this this is something you'd be good at. So how'd you do? Don't know. Doing good? Oh, yeah, not bad at all. Grand, grand, grand. Rolling towards me, ready, roll. Okay. Stay down. Oh. Very well. Yeah. Okay, we're satisfied. We made it. We beat somebody. Yep. We're happy. We're happy. <laughs> that I'm licked. If I started something, I'll finish it. At least I'll try. I'll try. <laughs>